Hey everyone, Silly Cat 2 here. Welcome back for more Golden Sun. In the last episode, we found out that Sheba was kidnapped by soldiers from Tolby, and while escorting her to La back to Lalavero, they the soldiers ran into a sandstorm and Sheba got lost in the desert. So now it is up to us, the heroes, to go find her. And with that, let's head into the desert. Now. The thing about Suhala Desert is that there is sand and wind. A sandstorm! There'll be trouble if we get caught up in one of those! But something is wrong. Why are there so many? If we don't get past here, we'll never make it to Babby Lighthouse. We must step carefully if we hope to escape the desert. <clears throat> Now, the soldiers from Tolby said that they used water to stop the cyclones. Fortunately for us, we have water. PK DOLS! <laughs> but I like yelling, this is an LP. I'm supposed to yell. Right, Chugga Conroy? I'm supposed to yell! <laughs> Anyway, these are, uh, tornado lizards. I guess they qualify as mini-bosses in a way. <clears throat> uh, a few rounds of just attacking will take care of them. They're not that tough an enemy, I think. Yeah, see, not too much damage there. But later on, we'll be fighting a stronger version of these tornado lizards as a boss, and that is when things get a little painful as it gave a virtuous armlet to Garrett. No, I want item! Blech. As you can see, it is a pretty good defense booster for uh, Ivan and Mia. I will be giving it to Ivan so he can do stuff with it. And whenever I get to Lalavero, I should probably sell some of this stuff that I have. Because my inventory is getting a little clogged up. Acid maggot and cobalt. Uh, something tells me that all these guys are weak to water. Let's see if that's right. I mean, come on, this is a desert. They have to be weak to water, right? WRONG! I guess that didn't work as well as I thought it would. Uh, okay, let's just fight. Yeah, I think if I ever do a Let's Play of a Lost Stage, I should look up these enemy stats before I uh, start Let's Playing. It'll be more work, but hey, I want to get good at this whole Let's Play thing. I mean, come on. If I can't be funny, I should at least try and be informative, right? Right, 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 right. Yeah, I'm not funny, I'm just weird. <laughs> I don't know, maybe some people find my weirdness funny, I got no idea. But, uh, thanks to all you guys who've been sticking with me all this time, despite my frequently slipped schedule. I'm gonna try and record whenever I have time to record, but I can't guarantee you anything, really, and... <laughs> <laughs> Emulator fail! <laughs> Don't you just hate it when you just... Click at, randomly click outside the window. <laughs> Seriously, I think my fails are the best part of my LP. And what are you laughing at? Something I just laughed at. Okay. As long as you're not laughing at me, even though you shouldn't be laughing at me because I'm funny. Yeah. In any case, yeah, how you guys been doing? I just watched the uh, 1025 update on Homestuck, and it is amazing. If you haven't read MS Paint Adventures, you should, like, <clears throat> right now. Especially in, if you're into webcomics that are sort of partially based on video games. I mean, not that Homestuck is... So well, okay, yeah, Homestuck is kind of like a video game, and kind of like a text adventure, and kind of like a webcomic and kind of like a graphic novel, and kind of like a movie. Suffice it to say, it's kind of like everything! And that is why it's so awesome! 
That and the plot, of course. Because, you know, it has to be all about the plot. And I should probably heal up some of my characters right about now. Or right about now. That'll work too. It's a mimic! Guys take forever to kill. Come on, I want to get through with the LP here or something. I want to get through the desert in this episode. Yeah, like that's everything that happened. Ooh, hey, double level up, nice. And I got water of life. I like to imagine that uh, anything the mix drop comes out of the treasure chest part of them. Like I don't know, like. It's a treasure chest that got cursed into being a mimic or something, and then whatever's still in the treasure chest is still there when you kill the mimic. I don't know. It makes perfect sense to me! In any case, I think we need to be. <laughs> that end. Okay, I guess we need to be going this way because I am stupid. <clears throat> Brutal troll, huh? They see me trolling. That's still gonna be the name of this episode now. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I always have a bit of trouble coming up with names for my episodes. Sometimes it's based on what happens, sometimes it's based on something stupid I say. Who knows? Why are I. Whatever. In any case, Mia is kind of running low on PP here. Maybe I should uh, use that one genie, what's it called? Uh, Ember, that's it. That was not any help at all. Yeah. Huh. Well, I think we're getting close to the end of the desert here. But in actuality, we are not going to the end of the desert. Oh look, a new enemy. This is magical. It is an upgrading thing. Blah 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 blah. blah. I don't know who cares? <coughs> It is just going to die, and hey, Ivan mastered high impact. That is a synergy spell that sharply raises somebody's attack power. I think. Uh, yeah. Huh? That's exactly what it was. Yeah. Yeah, but I want to make. No, do not swap the. No, it boosts the party's attack. So ha, huh, you were wrong. <clears throat> I'm just being stupid about this now. Um, okay, when Mia runs out I, of PP, I guess I can justify using a Psy Crystal, even though I hardly ever use items in this game because Synergy is just so much easier. Or rather, I just don't think to use items. <laughs> I never think to use items, that's just a thing with me and RPGs, I mean, the one exception would have to be Paper Mario, I think. Because the items there are awesome, and they are often your only method of healing, especially in the first game where you don't get a decent healing attack until after Chapter 5. Anyway, Cookie. 
I'll give this to Mia because she is the one who is going to be using the most PP and Glow, used to resist elements. Swap that for Dragon Shield, and I guess I'll just hand that off to Mia until we get a chance to sell it. <clears throat> and at some point, I'm probably gonna want to switch the Douse Drop off to somebody else, just so we can let Mia recover a little. I mean, she's doing double duty here. She's stopping the Sandstorms, and she's healing everyone. So yeah. That is where we are headed, that pink sandstorm over there. <clears throat> As you can see, we have a Mars Genie here. This is... I forget who this is, but... With this guy, Garrett will have six Genie, and we can just get going. Garrett learns PK Flash! No, not really. Anyway, in here there are no enemies, so it's a pretty good place to just walk around, restore your PP, despite how slow PP recovery is. And out here, do not use Douse on this sandstorm if you are below... What the heck, I'm only level 21? I mean, come on, we're approaching the end game here. We got... I'm only level 21. I mean, really. See, now, here's what's funny. In Dark Dawn, you have to be, like, level 60 to beat the final boss, even though the rest of the game is a piece of cake. It's like, what the heck? It's like the, uh... Omega Pirate in Metroid Prime. It's the only hard boss in the game. That, that it's the first hard boss in the game, and it's like at the very end of the game. I mean, come on. What is it with the difficulty spike right at the end game? And the uh, same thing with The World Ends With You. It's a piece of cake right up until the final boss, even at level 1. The only boss I really had much trouble with, besides the final boss, was uh, Minami Moto. Yeah. <clears throat> of course, I played through most of the end game on easy, but yeah, whatever, right? Anyway. Here we go, back into Crossbone Isle, and I guess I will end the episode off here. We can get deeper into Crossbone Isle in the next episode. So, if you like this part, subscribe to my channel. Uh, subscribe to my video. If you like this part, subscribe to my videos. Big yellow button up top. Give me a thumbs up down below this video, and be sure to check out my other stuff. This is Silly Cat 2, and I will be seeing you at some point in the future.